All right, thank you, Jonathan. Well, you've probably seen signs advertising empty, available retail space all around Fort Wayne. Some are sized to house big box stores. Several more are in smaller strip malls. Both can be tough to fill. Tonight, News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson continues our look at filling the big empty. Yesterday, we discovered the challenges of finding tenants for big box stores around Fort Wayne. But when a city tries to fill the big empty, the smaller spaces can't be forgotten. It seems like it shouldn't make sense. Strip malls popping up all over town with for rent signs right next door. For a while, it was just a real proliferation, and it's we got ahead of ourselves. Obviously, we'd like to see reuse of existing spaces uh, for sustainability and environmental issues or reasons, um, but we I don't think we have much control over that. It comes down to the old adage, location, location, location. The economics work for the best locations where you can pay premium prices for land, get premium rents, while at the same time another property not very far away, you can barely give it away. They're not going to pay a little bit less in rent to be in a secondary location. It doesn't work that way. They'll pay, it's the opposite. They'll pay a premium to be in the best location. The Zacker Company's latest assessment of the retail market in Fort Wayne found the total retail vacancy in the city went down slightly from last year, but it predicts that next year leasing activity will be limited to the most popular shopping centers, and the B locations will see rent rates continue to fall. The second generation buildings that don't have the prime locations then it's very challenging to fill those spaces. Fort Wayne is trying to make existing spaces more attractive. The city of Fort Wayne has taken a fairly aggressive uh, stance towards all of these retail areas, not just uh, the big boxes. In part one of The Big Empty, we learned about economic development target areas all over town that give new businesses a break on the front end. Tax abatement for retail is generally not something, uh, an option on the table. They're still paying what the building is paying today, but as they improve its value, the impact is spread out and, and ramped up over time. So that helps them get into the building. The startup costs are usually greater than the ongoing operations, and so that helps them get going. The company could also get a grant to help fix cosmetic issues, but the government can only do so much. At the end of the day, it's the private sector that must step up, and that's what we've got to count on, that uh, that, that, that will happen with these, with these buildings. Everyone we spoke with for this story tells us it will be a long road, but they're optimistic that the big empty will slowly be filled in the years to come. Be sure to check out this story on Wayne.com for a closer look at available properties, both large and small. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.